Is Elon Musk trying to bore you to death? Our lawyers say no. Find out more on today's Musk Smash! You Musk gotta sync late. up. We practiced. You gotta sync up. Let's try it again. I thought we were doing a, a round right, robin. Right. Whoa, Dang it! You, you one more time. Just one more time. The on today's you go, wow. Musk, Musk Watch. Watch. Musk Watch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Elon Musk's boring company released concept art of an electric vehicle designed for their underground sled system. Now, <laughs> what? Wait. Yeah, they. Well, the thing that gave all of our fans yeah, seizures last last time. I just th think calling it an underground sled system sounds so much lamer. If we don't have snow on the surface world anymore, I can't go tubing with the peasants. I have to do it underground with the pets. Now, no details were released with the photos, so it's down to our best guess as to how they'll work or how they'll be integrated into the tunnel system. Now, we can assume they might be used to carry human people or maybe sentient bicycles as shown in the photos. I'm sure a lot of our fans will be expecting us to calculate how many venomous bats Elon can transport in this sled. And we're gonna give the, the people what they want. It's a car. Because I mean, I'm doing the math right now in some, my head like a smart boy. You need because if the sled is about the, the length of a Tesla Model S with room for humans to stand and sing in this concept video, we're playing with about 842 cubic feet feet of space, give they, or take. They do so if we stack the bats from floor to ceiling, then Elon nice. technically could transport thousands of venomous bats from his underground just... lair through his tunnel system. Well, I mean, specifically- And can... that's a lot of bats. In less batty news, NASA has unveiled their plans for the Parker Solar Probe, formerly called the Solar Pro Plus. Ooh, it's, you have to upgrade from the Solar Pro to Solar Pro Plus if you don't want ads during your solar probing. The Parker Solar Probe's mission involves the heavily shielded probe getting within four million miles from the sun, which is seven times closer than any craft has ever gotten. In order Suck to it, other craft. In order to study the effects of solar wind and space weather. But I have a question. Does Elon Musk have plans to colonize the sun yet? Yeah, probably not, because he can't. <laughs> not with that attitude. Moving on from there, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's company, Stratolaunch Systems, just unveiled the largest plane ever, period. How big are we to- Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's That's a gigantic steel bird! I've never seen anything like this in my whole damn life! What Dan, is it? Dan. It's a giant plane, oh, just like I, you said. It's wow. got a 385 foot wingspan Dang. and can carry 1.3 million pounds of cargo fully loaded. <laughs> Good, because I have a lot of luggage. And this will serve as an airborne launching point for suborbital rocket launches. The plane itself has a lot of testing to undergo before it's ready to be a launching point, but it's gonna be cool. And if it is, this would be a great step in fuel efficiency in private sector rockets. And we here at Muskwatch support innovation in all forms. Yeah, just stay, stay out of SpaceX's way. Send me to the sun, baby. And in kooky, but not as cool as Elon CEO news, Bigelow Airspace CEO Robert Bigelow told 60 Minutes that he's, quote, absolutely convinced, end quote, that aliens have definitely visited the Earth. Now but he's wrong. He might be right because he is the brother of Deuce Bigelow. Male Aeros Gigolo? Aerospace Gigolo. Oh, sorry. Now, we at Musquatch are absolutely convinced that Robert Bigelow is a fake name chosen by his body's alien inhabitant. Obviously. And legally, we must remind you that the previous statement is nothing but conjecture. Anyways, old Bobby Biggs claims that aliens have been to Earth before and says, quote, there has been and is an existing presence, an ET presence. That's how he sounds. It's atrocious. Bigelow Airspace is best known for its inflatable space habitats, and one of them is currently attached to the International Space Station and was delivered there by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. So follow me here if Deuce Bigelow, Aerospace Gigolo's brother, Robert Bigelow, is secretly an alien trying to make sure that we don't fall into his sinister plans. And what if he's working with Elon Musk to deliver his alien habitats up to the International Sp- Ooh, this goes way deeper. So much deeper than I could have possibly imagined. It's pretty deep. It's atrocious. Okay, now before we go, it's time for your Musk See moment of the week. <gasps> ah! oh. Graphic! Hey man, I leaned into it this time. Elon took to the Grams and showed off his vacation in Australia with his girlfriend Amber Heard and his several sun clones. I'm starting to notice a pattern, uh, one where we get left out from all the cool father son. Bonding that, you know, we we need. Yeah, that we are legally entitled to. I mean, <laughs> the least you can do is uh, send us to our rooms when we've been naughty boys. 
Ugh. Must be nice. <laughs> to be a naughty boy, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the time we have for Musquatch. If you take anything from this episode, let it be us saying bye. bye. With the timing, you gotta get the intro, you gotta get the Musquatch! Damn it! Musquatch! Thank you so much for watching Musquatch. No, seriously, I mean it. Thank you. Yeah. That's something I actually feel and I'm not being forced to say by producers lurking off camera. Thank you. Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Musquatch! Oh, yeah, baby! Hammer on, hammer off. Hammer on, hammer off. Hammer eye. Oh, Rick and Morty reference, nice.